Hey everybody, hope you're enjoying your summer. And if you are enjoying your summer, you're probably spending time outdoors and want to share with you as well about a product to take outdoors with you with this ultralight inflatable sleeping pad. This uh, is one that's great whether you're camping, you're hiking, you're at the beach, you're at the pool, swimming uh, in the water. And I'm going to demonstrate the product to you. If you click on the link as well in the description, you can get more information about the product read some of the reviews, there are some there now, and uh, of course, order it. So, nice small product, just to give you an idea, weight-wise, by the way, uh, it weighs one pound, 7.1 ounces, so very lightweight product, perfect to, and it's nice and small, compact, can fit right into your hiking bag, like this is my hiking bag, so it's not too big of a hiking bag, but yet it fits, and it's not gonna add too, too much weight, uh, that you would have to worry about it, you know, adding that weight to your bag. So nice there. Also comes with these uh, repair patches. So you have the repair patches and it has uh, the instructions how to use it and how to inflate it because it does come with this additional bag and I'm going to demonstrate it to you in multiple languages you got there as well. Before I demonstrate it to you uh, in a couple of different scenarios, let's talk more about the product. So the product is a premium TPU with... Ripstop nylon material designed with the perfect balance between comfort and durability, yet compact, lightweight enough to be carried in your backpack or car, as I just showed you. So it is, again, great for multiple purposes. And it has a really interesting concept for putting the air in it. And I look forward to sharing that with you. It has a money-back guarantee, a 30-day money-back guarantee, and a lifetime warranty. Absolutely risk-free purchase. So as far as the measurements, it uh, fits grown adult standard size, 73 by 24 inches, and it is not too small, not too big, and again, it uh, will fit right in your bag. You also have this little pouch to keep it protected. So let's go outdoors. Let me show you uh, in a grassy, woody type environment as well at the pool so you get an idea and also so I can demonstrate how you put the air in it. Let's go outside. Okay, so it's a beautiful day. Let's go ahead and get it opened. So first you obviously want to remove it from the bag, put the bag to the site. Now the sleeping pad is wrapped with this bungee wrap. So you can see it's got some nice flexibility there. Put that off to the side and then you unroll it. Now when you unroll it, you will notice inside is this pump bag. And you could just straighten that out like that and you could put that down to the side for a minute. And then you would just lay this sleeping pad on the ground. You would put it uh, with your with the logo is on the top. So you just flip that over because you want to put the air in. And next, once you have that flattened out, you can go ahead and attach the sleeping pad to the pump where you could breathe in. And let me show you that now. Okay, so let's talk about the valve. So for the sleeping pad, you've got this valve. And what you want to do is push that in. Now you could put air one way by blowing into it but that would take a lot of energy to do or make it simple you put the air with the air pump by attaching it and then all you do is snap that in and now you could start using the air pump which I'm going to show you next and how easy that is and once you're done you remove the air pad and then you close that shut now you're good to go. Now, once you are done with the air, you could, and the sleeping pad, you could just pull this out. This pops out, and the air will come out. So very simple. Again, you just wanna make sure to close the top so the air doesn't seep out. Okay, let's go ahead and fill the sleep pad with air. And as I shared with you with the valve, you close the valve, attach the air pump, very simple, and you really don't need to use much energy, if at all. So you open up the airbag like this, you blow into it, and you just start rolling this up 
and you can see how air will fill into the air pump and then you just push down vertically and it fills in the air bag, the sleeping bag. And it takes about two to three times of filling the air, uh, the air pump with air. So again, you open it up, you blow into it, and you just start sealing up. And there you go, you can see that's all you need to do. Okay, so it took me a little bit more than three times because the first time I didn't get enough air in there. And all you need to do now is remove the air pump and you just close the valve up for the sleeping pad. So you are good to go there. And you can see I'm pushing down. It seems to really do a very good job at keeping air in and not escaping. Now what is nice is you have this pillow here to rest your head comfortably on the sleep pad. So let me put on the angle here now. And you can see I could just lay down very comfortably. I'm about six feet. And so you could see lengthwise how much room I have to work with. So if you're a little bit taller than six feet, I think you'll still be okay. Uh, I think you can go about six two before your feet might start falling off, but it is very, very comfortable, very comfortable to uh, lay on. Now, one of the ways we can just put it to the test here, just so you can see how sturdy it is, is we can let a little air out. Now, to let a little air out, you would just open the top valve, and you would actually have to lift the top valve, open it up a little bit, and then let a little air out. So you're going to open that middle one as well, let a little air seep out, and then close it back. And just so you could see how it lost a little bit of air, I'm gonna jump on it. And it is still holding up well. You could see no air, it's very durable, and really does a great job. So no air is escaping. Holds up very well. Now, once you're done, and you are ready to roll it up. Just let the air out. Just come to the end here. And this is how I found it's easiest to let the air out and to fold it up. So I was hoping to go into the pool yesterday, but it was simply getting too dark. So what I decided to do was refill the sleep pad with air, lay on it for a while, and let the air sit through the night to see how it hold up with air. I know that would probably be a concern of yours. Would air seep out? There is no air that seeped out at all. I was very impressed uh, with the quality of the product and laying on it for a while and how comfortable it is. And also glad that no air seeps out. If there was any concern about the air, it's the air pump and, you know, using that all the time and how would that air pump bag hold up. But uh, we'll see over time how that should last. But so far, I've used it several times with attempting to put air into it, and it has done a great job. So now it's time to go out to the pool. Well, at the pool, as you can see here, it's very easy to get on and off, very comfortable to lay in the pool. Had the opportunity to try it on my back and my stomach really enjoyed it. Definitely a uh, two thumbs up here for swimming in the pool and one that you can really enjoy relaxing and dozing off while floating on the water. Okay, so there you go. You had the opportunity to see me put the air into the sleep pad, go into the pool, and overall just share with you my experience with using it, which I'm definitely really impressed with the product. Seems like a high quality product. They've done a nice job very affordable and one that you can get a lot of use at. So again, be sure to click on the link in the description where you can read those reviews 
ask any questions, and of course, order it. All right, everybody, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching, and enjoy your sleep pad. Take care.